Hi, I'm Chien and welcome to the day 2 for working with DNN platform ED Open Source Donut Frameworks for CMS. Okay, so here in the first day we have talked about some of the preparation for working with the DNN and today in the day 2 I will talk about how to do the hosting and run the DNN under IIS server. So firstly we have to download the DNN file from the internet and after that we will set up it to run under the IIS server. Okay, so now let's do it. Firstly, you can go ahead to download the file. You can download it the file under uh, in the DN, DN, D, DNN software.com community download page here, or you can also get the file from the GitHub here. Uh, normally, I will go ahead to go get the file from the GitHub here. You are set into the GitHub here and click on the delete release heap release here we have some at this time the current version of the of the new release is 9.2 okay so here we have some asset uh, we are going to install the ENN and set up it running under the IS server so here I will go ahead to download the version in install. We have we have another version in source here. You can you have the full source code in the Visual Studio format. So here the documentation up, upgrade simple source deploy here, and I will go ahead to download the install. And wait until the, the download is done. Okay. Okay, cool. Here. Okay, we already have some file here. I will try to release this. Okay, and now you go ahead to attract it. Cool. And here I will copy this folder and back to my okay I will have the mm, okay I will create a folder here for the project training project I will rename this one. Okay, no need. That if get it by default here. Okay, cool. And now I have to open the the, the, the internet information services, and I will open the window run, and I will type the inet mzr. It will come online to open the. The, the, the internet information services quickly okay here you have to expand the server and the size okay okay here you actually I have already have a DNN local here I will try to remove this okay cool and I will open at the website and I will name it e tnn9.local okay I will copy the it and paste it under the hot name the physical path here we have to copy the path of the short code okay cool 
OK and everything will leave it, leave it by default for now and click on OK button. OK, copy it again for the sign name. OK, and after that, you open the zip PC, C drive, and go to the window. You go to System 32. System 32. Uh, drive. And etc. Open the hot file. Okay, here the hot file. I go ahead to add something into this one. I have the the name is okay. Go ahead to edit it. Binding. Edit. Copy. it okay cool glow it show here and after that open browser and here back to this one and I will open it in browser dnn9.local We have to wait some minutes. Okay, here. After that, it will open the install wizard step for us. We have three steps. Have, we have to complete three steps before we can use the DNN on on the PC. Okay. It is multi language work here, here. Okay, so finally, we have to enter some of the account information. The, as the administrative information here, we provide the username. By default, it will be using the hot account. Okay, I will have it by default, and for now, we enter the password and confirm the password. Okay. Um, Okay, cool. And the email address, I will have it by default. Hot at chain dot me. The website information here. Okay, I will have it. Change the website name. Okay. The template, I will select the default template. The language is, should be English. And database setup. Okay, here we have two options. The first one it will be using the default database, and the second one we can do the custom. Yeah, so the custom here you can provide the 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 the, the server name, the file name, blah blah here. Okay, so here for now I will select the default option for install the database. Okay, and product improvement plan so here if you want to send some of the information to the DNN server when you have any issue so you can go ahead to click on this checkbox otherwise uncheck click, click on continue button to finish this step okay so we proceed with the installation Product is being installed thanks for patient. Okay, so for now we are waiting for iteration is done. Finally, we will check the file and folder permission of the code, and the second thing it will check the data by iteration. And attention, iteration, website creation, and super user creation. Okay, here. It is the iteration is completed, 100% done. It takes around uh, uh, 38, 38 minutes. Okay. And 
here you can click on select to view some of the steps for installation and you can also click on the resist website it is already finished two steps and go to the view website step here and click on visit website waiting for loading in the first time normally when you work on any CMS uh, when you run the, the site in the first time you, you will take the, it will take more times longer than the second time okay because it have to create some the, the item and the, the, the first configuration for the site so that means it will take more time for loading okay it is reasonable cool here you can see here this one is, is a dnn sign after you install on the local hot yeah so here you can see on the header we have the some information of the user the super super user account and also we have a feature for logout yeah it will be using the the, the 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 username and password you have to enter in the step one before we go to installation step for login okay cool so here if you log in with if you accept this uh, dn local website here on the local hot with the authenticated user that means you are able to do the, some the editing blah blah here i will talk it in another video later here okay so here when you open it in another the, the, the browser anonymous so here yeah you we have some 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 option here. in this uh, displaying the local user information it will display the register and login hyperlink here so when you click on the register button here it will direct you to a uh, pop-up to do the registration for username password display name and email address and the same thing when you click on login button here it will open a pop-up which allows the user to access into the system admin okay cool so here close this one okay uh, at this time we have only one home page at the default page when you install the site on the local hot here so i think i will talk about it later in another video and i think it's enough for today and after you finish this video you know how to download the the, the, the dnn file from the internet we have two options to download the file the first one you download it on the dnn dnn software.com website and go to the download page the second option is we can download the file from the github yeah okay cool so i hope this video will helpful for you and let me know if you see any issue bye bye and see you later in another video